So, um, Danny just gave a great review of uh, Thank the Unknown you. Girl. Thank you. It was very, very eloquent, made a lot of great points, very positive. And that's why we are extra excited to be joined by both of the Darden brothers ourselves here with us in Film Chat. We've had a lot of big directors join us, but never two at once. It's a, it's an absolute milestone. It sounds like, sounds like they're uh, just here now. What the fuck am I doing here? Oh, hey, be nice, okay? It's nice to be here in the Film Chat studio. No, it's not. Uh, man, uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, hello, I'm Luke. And uh, I am Jean-Pierre. Thank you so much for making the time for us. I know uh, you're very busy. You're very obviously. busy, guys. Um, so I am not busy. I am uh, very busy, though. I do all the work. <laughs> uh, you fucking asshole. I hear that you're both uh, big fans of UK television. Um, I was wondering, Luke, who who is your favourite ever contestant on The Apprentice? Oh, man. Uh, 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 Wait, you could... fucking idiot. Don't you know the answer? It is Katie Hopkins. You love Katie Hopkins. No, she's, she's horrible. She's a horrible person. I don't like her at all. Yes, you do. You tell me all the time. No, Luke. No, I'm I'm Luke. Oh, gosh, you got me all angry. Sorry about that. Um, What about you, uh, Jean-Pierre? Who, who's your favorite contestant on The Apprentice? Uh, mine is uh, the wrestler guy. I don't know. Uh, what was his name? His name was Ricky, you fat idiot. His name was Ricky! He won! He won many years ago! Shut up! You, you, you don't even know Katie Hopkins' name! You don't know yes, what I, you're talking about! You always put embarrassing me like this! Leave me alone! Sorry about that. That's, that's fine, that's, that's, that's fine. You know, you're passionate, guys. Um, I, was just I am not. Yes, you are! <laughs> I was just wondering, um, obviously you guys, you guys are from Belgium, and I was wondering if you could tell me, uh, how does the Belgian accent differ from the French one? Uh, uh, the Belgian accent is a bit like this. And uh, the French one is a little bit like this. Uh, uh, one of you sounds French, and the other one sounds Belgian. Even though you're both from Belgium. Yes, exactly. I have the better accent. No, mine is better. It's more French. You know, it, it, it's better to sound French than to sound Belgian. No, it is. Oh, man, you are such an idiot. I can't believe I'm here with you. Listen, I have the French accent, and uh, my mother likes me more. Thank, thanks a lot. Sorry about that. All right, it's time for the quick fire interview round, where we just oh. fire a couple of questions. <laughs> and okay. uh, and this this is directed to you both. Um, Monster Munch or What's It? Monster what's Munch! It? That's the end of the quick fire round. <laughs> Ah, uh, did I win or... Uh, did I win? Did I win the really round? It's competitive. It's just more... It's interesting to hear your responses. No, fuck you. Um, oh, so, sorry, I, I got very excited there. No, everything is, for us is a competition. You have to give me closure. I would, I would say it was a tie. Sorry. Mm. Um, so, um, you're in town to promote your latest film, uh, Unknown Girl. Um, we were just wondering, what's better, The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier or the film Unknown starring Liam Neeson? Uh, it is the one with uh, Liam Neeson because he has this lovely, uh, lovely voice. Uh, no, I like uh, the tomb actually because it's quite a nice place to just look and think about things. Yeah, but Liam Neeson, he has this big, lovely accent, you know. Uh, yeah, but it, you know, it's, that's not that important compared to war, you know, Jean-Pierre. I don't think you, again, I don't think you really think about things. It, listen, I'm allowed to admire a man's voice. Ah, but so many people die, Jean-Pierre. This is... Um, uh, sorry about that. I'm really sorry that so many of our questions seem to be causing friction between the pair of you. Let's move on. Let's move on to another topic. Hopefully this one will be um, a little more positive to talk about. A little smoother. Your next film is going to be called The Passion of Neville Chamberlain. And it's an erotic historical drama. Um, Jean-Pierre, what can you tell us about that? Okay, well, let me tell you a bit of a secret. Uh, most of our films, we just come up with a name and then we kind of get down to uh, the set and we just kind of wing it. So, uh, at the moment, I don't know, there's going to be a guy who plays Neville Chamberlain and then, uh, I don't know, he might get nailed to a cross, I guess. Or, I mean, it depends on budget as well and if we can get Marion Cotillard or someone like that involved. That's the main thing. Uh, Yes, I think so, um, but I also would not want to work with Marion Cotillard again because uh, 
she kept starting these arguments between me and Jean-Pierre, and uh, it was an incredibly uncomfortable time. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Finally, um, I thought the performance of Adele Hane in Yonenga was brilliant, but I read originally that you had Chris Tucker earmarked for the role. I was wondering uh, why that was and uh, how come that didn't come to pass. Uh, it was because Luke was being too much of a pussy one night when we were trying to uh, go take him out drinking and he wouldn't join him for shooters and uh, torpedoes. No, that is ridiculous. I didn't want your torpedoes, Jean-Pierre. Your stupid is a stupid childish idea and Chris Tucker was not impressed. He did like, he did like one just so he could be part of the gang. But then you kept going and you just found it really annoying. And, uh, and I tell you, it was embarrassing for us all. You think he did a call because I didn't do enough? You did too many, Jean-Pierre. You did too many, man. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yes, very completely, yes. Um very illuminating chat with you both it's really very exciting to speak to you thank you your uh, I thought you should. mine <laughs> and mine and maybe we can get you back one day hopefully and which one is uh, more of a hero to you is it me or me um, um you're, you're both you're both my I hero i like you both a lot <laughs> <laughs> okay guys so okay. that's uh that's all we have time for this week. Thanks very much. Thanks a lot to the Darden brothers. 